Hey, so in our last video, we looked at creating our smooth scrolling button back to top button. So when we scroll down, we can go and click this button and it'll bring us right back to the top. Scroll down a little bit, back to the top. So I want to take a look at our transparent navigation up here. So in our button here. So this shouldn't be showing when it's at the top. So I want to create a trigger. So when it gets about to here, this will appear and this will go from transparent to a, to a black background. So let's figure out how we can do that. So we're in VS Code. I created some blocks here to give our header some height right here. Okay, so in our JS file, we need to look at creating an event handler for listening to our scroll on our window. So let's do that. Let's copy this. So we're going to do window scroll. We don't need this, and we don't need this. Save that. So we need to test our window and how far it is from the top. So we're going to do scroll y. We're going to do greater than equal to, and let's say 400 will be our threshold. Now we need to listen to or check our class for our nav. We're going to add sticky nav as our class. And you can name this anything. And we need another one for our back to top. And for this, we're going to remove the class hidden because right now it's hidden right now. And we're going to add another class for it called block. And let's grab all this and we'll reverse everything. So we need to remove and add and we need to add, oops. And this needs to be removed. Okay, let's hopefully let's go over this. So we have an event handler that listens for our window. That's listening to the scroll. We're testing to see if it's 400 pixels from the top of the, the screen. And if it is, we're going to add a sticky nav class to our nav. And we're going to remove the hidden and add a block class to the button down here. So let's scroll down and see, see if it works. Okay, it's working. All right, that's cool. Right now, there's nothing happening to our navigation here because we don't have any styles for our sticky nav. So let's go over to our CSS and let's do that. So we can do sticky nav, add apply, and we'll do BG black, and we'll do PY or three to shrink the the horizontal or the vertical uh, padding. Now we need to add an important to override it. Now I also want to shrink the logo. So let's do that. Logo SVG. And we'll need to add this ID to our logo. And let's do H6. And before I forget, let's go and add. So ID equals logo. Okay, so where are we? Oops, no, need me here. And I want to do another thing here. Make it hover. And give it a text red 300 because right now when we're on here on this transparent background it doesn't look very good with the default color but when we get it back onto the black background i want it to so it's back to normal back to our default so 
minus 100. So let's save that. Hopefully all that is, is all working. Okay, so here it is. Okay, so we got that. Ooh, it's super tiny. Uh, did I shrink it too small? Oh, three. It's supposed to be six. <clears throat> okay, so let's see here. Just waiting for CSS to build. So this is working. Yeah, so it's back to six here. Let's see. And our, yeah, that color is the light red. And then dark red. <laughs> yeah, I think that's all working. Let's go and paste the, the code back to our main. So the one thing I would say is for our scroll, oops, for our scroll event handler here, normally you would add like a deep uh, debounce. Because when it's scrolling, or if you're listening to like a window resize, those things creates a lot of triggers for the event. So what the debounce does is it kind of gives it like a like a timer, like a 250 millisecond timer. So it doesn't doesn't trigger every every millisecond. So I would say that's probably one thing I'd probably want to add to this. Maybe a, it'll be a bonus video. Head over to our. Oh, I'm gonna add, I remove the the hidden here. Or add the hidden. Okay, so we have our. It's working. Shrunk. Background. This gets triggered, and everything's back to normal. Okay. I think that's everything for this video. I think we're pretty much wrapped up with building the site. Um, all the UIs, all the functionality I kind of wanted to cover uh, for the site is pretty much done. Now, I want to go over for and look at this right here because our build CSS is ends up being 2.2 megabytes, and that's not that's not good for our production. So in our next video, we'll take a look at how we can optimize that. All right, so I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed the content so far. If you have any questions or feedback, please leave a comment down below. To stay updated with the latest content from the channel, you can subscribe by clicking right here in the middle.